cars all the time car search engine and i'm g your host and i am kelly your co-host and we've got more cars to talk about well one car to talk about right now it's called a corvair monza gt and the corvair was a 1962 mid-engine experimental prototype automobile based on the early model series of the corvair Essentially, the Monza GT did, did not enter production at all. So this is a concept car that, that you just got to see. Under, okay, uh, the Monza GT Coupe was designed by Tony Lapain in 1962, borrowing from the baritone design tex, testidio, to, test audio concept car, whatever the heck that is. Like the earlier design, the GT doors swung upward and were actually a front hinged canopy that extended into the B section. The rear engine Corvair cover was also hinged at the rear. The engine used was a standard Corvair 145 cubic inches, 102 horsepower, flat six. That's it, that's right. That's all it was, so it was not much horsepower at 102. I tried, you just ruined that right there. I'm talking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm you sorry. gotta remember, you got all I'm sorry. these people watching. I'm sorry, baby. Okay. Okay. The chassis was on a 92 inch wheelbase, 60 inches shorter than the production cars. So that makes it a short car. Show them the car again. Sure. You know, take a look at that. You know. So now. The overall dimensions were similarly reduced with, with a length of 165 inches and a height of 42 inches. Now the Ford GT was only 40 inches. This Corvair was 42 inches, just two inches taller. Wow. Besides the streamlined appearance, the Monza GT had innovative features, including magnesium alloy wheels, four-wheel disc brakes, and fixed seats with adjustable pedals. Fixed seats. What that means is you can't roll your seat up towards the steering wheel. You can't roll it back. It's fixed. Really? Wow. <laughs> what do you think about that? Yeah. If you're tall and you're short, forget it. <laughs> you know, these features would eventually turn up in production cars years later. Fixed seat. Oh. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, some of the styling features of the GT, notably the rear end, were, were the inspiration for the 1965 through 1969 Corvair. Okay, now the Chevrolet Corvair Monza GT Coupe toured together with a Monza SS Spider. The Spiders are always convertibles in early 1963, making a further public appearance at the New York Auto Show. Although both cars were based on the Corvair drivetrain, each represented a development of the Corvair design in the SS convertible with the engine with four carburetors was left in its stock location behind the seats allowing a shorter wheelbase. Although the SS came close to a series production both cars ended up as concepts only tied to the fortunes of the Corvair which had been declared unsafe. Wow. That's what happened. That's another car gone by the wayside. And I'm G, your host. And I am KK, your co-host. We're out of here. See ya. See ya.